Good evening, all you fantastic people. Welcome back to Let's Play Meh. Uh, episode 7, I believe. Let's jump right back in. Should we check and see if we have any beautiful mail? Yeah, let's see what's going on in here. No? Alright. Alright, okay. okay. Okay, enough computer. Enough computer. So yes, uh, welcome back to the world of me. Welcome back to me. Episode me. It's been a little while since we've been in this world. Which is really just because I haven't really had the motivation to come back and play it. Uh, I know. It seems like everyone was enjoying it, but... I don't know, this game just doesn't really do it for me. Not the same way as, as some of the other ones do. But I've done a bit of off-camera. A little bit of off-camera. And I can now say that there are some things that I would like to at least show. Why is it dark there? I don't know. Oh, because it's like a pillar. I see. So, what are we going to do in here? Let's talk to this spinning ball. And enter the town district. Now, having played this a little bit off camera as well as playing it with the audio up, I have noticed there's kind of a running theme that the creator seems to have gone for. This kind of, if you listen really closely, you probably won't be able to hear it because of the mastering, but there's like a kind of really low rumbling noise. Which I, which I quite like. It adds a kind of tense note to what we're seeing. Pass and try something that. Intentional? I doubt it. So yeah, get out, stop doing that. Yes, we are going to go inside this beautiful shop. I haven't tried interacting with these things. Are they of any value? No. Of course not. Hello, there, red hair did. Hello, browse the store. Well, okay, calm down, calm down, okay. Of course, our only response is dot, dot, dot. We're like the Gordon Freeman of the dream world. Is anything wrong? Dot, dot, dot. I think he's making a fool of us. I'm gonna fucking end you, man. Fucking square go outside. Yeah, I gotta f get you erased, man. There you go. What? I guess not. I can't. He is not playing by the rules. He is hiding when I got my rubber out. When I got my little rubber out. Yeah, I don't know. I don't even know what that is. It doesn't look like a radio to me. Apparently it's a 30G radio or something. It doesn't do anything. It's a picture of someone feeding the ducks. There's a big menacing and confused swan thing just looking at them. That is looking at the person feeding them. I'm sure I've seen that swan before. Well, this is in your dreams, isn't it? It seems to be a translation for some game. Most of the text doesn't even make sense. <laughs> We've all been there. That's why I don't play them. So I don't play translations, mate. I can get with the program. Translations, scrub mode. Translate? No. It is a piece of art. Still better than I'll ever draw. It looks like a basket with pens and pencils in it. Wait, what is my art doing here? I can't even see what that one is. Answers on a postcard. Let's go upstairs. Let's go all the way upstairs. And, um, do we get the magic broom? No. No, we cannot. I was thinking go that when I was testing this going up these stairs, It'd be quite funny if you just walked up to the top and she just fell off the, the end. <whistles> Maybe not make a duck quacking noise because that would be kind of strange. Yeah, now I'm going out here as far as I can see. Just rumbling. Just... Maybe it's her stomach. Maybe she's hungry. I will offer one thing about this. Shut up! Bad. I'll offer one thing. Um, the, the art style here seems a little bit odd. Like something about these little things here. Just 
just look weird. But what about this? It's a shadowy figurine. What are you doing there, shadowy figurine? The drink of the evening is wine. It's delicious. Fancy that, we're on a wine coloured floor. But we can't escape. But where are we? Are we in space? Kind of looks like space. Well, I assume that's what space might look like. Spooky music. I guess it's kind of spooky. I'm going to try something. Yeah, I didn't work. <laughs> Sorry, <clears throat> very spooky. Where's your head, mate? Apparently it was in the ground, like an ostrich. Which you probably shouldn't do, there's not a lot of air in the ground. Otherwise it would be oxidised dirt. That's not a thing, I don't think. Oxidised dirt. Rusty dirt. Maybe if we go play Flow we can find some rusty dirt. That seems like it would be right up Flo's street. But up young Sabatsuki's dirty, soily... No, I'm not going to make a sex reference. Nah, nah, that's weird, isn't it? These girls aren't very, very old. I don't think that's appropriate. Hello, and welcome to the fun house. In order to get to the next floor, press that big red orange on your front. That big red orange? Big red orange what? Press that big red orange on your front and your right. Then this room will explode. Question mark. I don't know, IDK, yeah. This message will only play again if you touch the pines. Bye. Oh, if I dreamed about this, I would wake up immediately. I could not stand having someone who types like this in my brain. Touch the pines. What if I don't want to touch the pines, eh? What if I just want to go back out, eh? Interesting. Interesting indeed. Hey, what is that? I like the music in here. It's kind of dumb, but I like dumb music. So what are we doing here? We are rubbing out mirrors. Rubbing out a mirror. So this ties in again to what I was just saying. The art in here seems kind of at odds with the characters, right? It looks really weird. This looks like modern RPG Maker stuff in a old school RPG Maker world. Despite that though, I do quite like it. I like this dog here, he's got headphones or something around his, uh, or maybe it's collars. He doesn't do anything, as far as I can see. It does occur to me though that we have like fuck all effects, so it could be that these characters are gonna do something interesting if we have loads of a... Oh my god, I don't believe I just did that. Oh, I forgot that's what that did. Oh, be right back. <clears throat> Always about that. That's some old school <laughs> Yen Tiki style derp moments. Which is good. Priceless moments, right? You don't come for free. What was I saying? Yes, this room. It's okay. It's okay. It has a. It might sound crazy. It has a strange. Dreaminess I can get behind it. It says story and it's pointing at what is either a moon or a banana. What's weird here is you might have noticed. I like that thing. I want to get one of those on my wall. Like one of those singing sea bass things. Oh, excuse me. <clears throat> but we can sprint here. Riddle me that. Why can we do that? I don't know. It is unusual. Only in that one area. 
Again, I, I get the feeling that I'm missing an effect or something to trigger whatever the fuck is supposed to be happening in here. So we can't interact with this in any meaningful way. Background does not really seem to do much other than Psycho. It's kind of it, I think. It'd be nice if we could keep running and sprinting. Sprinting is good. And it just... Oh, well, I'm glad we figured out what that thing does again, because we need to do that. <sighs> Fucking stupid. Can't believe I did that. <clears throat> anyway, onwards and upwards. It's all good. It's all good. Isn't that all good? Yeah, I think it's all good. So what else are we going to do? We're going to go to this little leafy thing, which burns up and down. We say into it, leafy. Another space walk. How refreshing. What's that noise? It's a real world door. I wonder who's in. There is some music here, but it's so quiet that I can barely hear it, so... I think it's extremely unlikely that the recording will pick it up. For some reason, despite the fact that we just walked through the right of the screen, the way back is like that weird stick thing. Maybe I can't hear music. I'm losing it. I'm going mad. Look, there's an animal up there. I don't know what's that for. It's like a toy dinosaur, maybe. That's what it looks like. That's a hose, don't trip on the hose, no! We didn't trip on it, it's fine. Oh hey, I don't know you go out here. Any reason you would do that? Nope. Nope. No. At least the image they've used is the background is nice and clear and not, say, covered in what looks like scan lines. Maybe that's intentional, it's not a bad effect. Just a bit, a bit peculiar. And now, who knows where we are now? It's, it's just some mysterious building. Oh, hello there. Hey, yeah. He says, hey, yeah. Hey, yeah. He has like a tangerine on his head. His forehead. Is it just me? I don't have a tangerine on my forehead. I am a citrus free zone. He got. Lower in pitch. Can I, can I rub one out on you? I very much want to. He does not look happy, does he? Well, in fact, he does actually look quite happy. What if I give you my orifice? Gross. Gross. Yeah, he's not interested. I didn't want to do that. Get the fruit, get the fruit out. He's got no face. Yeah, so I suppose we need loads of effects to play with such a character. He's um, very similar to the characters we've encountered in Old Tuk Tuk. Different effects, I guess. But we only have three, because we are shite at this game. So bad at this game. That and I have not played it as much as I have with its... I dread to even think. I should probably try and get the numbers on it again, but we're talking like at least 10 hours of YouTube, commentated YouTube footage of Yumituki. Achievement unlocked? No, 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 mate, no. Just a lot of crazy dreams. Not a lot to show for it, just a load of crazy dreams. I haven't really had a great look around here, so we might do that on the way back. This is the music that you get in the computer. I've only just clocked that. Now, this area is a bit weird. There's these dudes running about all over the place. They're just doing shit. You can't talk to them, they just kind of speed around. It seems to be that you need to run, 
rub them out. Rub them. Well, not all of them. You just need to rub out a certain one. There's a really slow moving one. But we're gonna just kind of go on a rampage anyway, because that's how kind of in the mood I am. I'm, I'm in tonight. Just, just gonna murder some weird sleeping bag guys. This purple dude, I think, is who we need to. Is it? Maybe not. Come on, just, 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 just stop. Just stop in your tracks. Stop running away from me. Oh, fine. Maybe we should put the rubber away. At least until we have found our prey. Total unique rhythms and rhymes, mate. I got the best. Only the best. God, there's so many of these guys just running about. No. 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 I might kill this one anyway. He's moving slowly. An easy target, you could say. Stop that! An easy target runs away. God damn it. Yeah, here we go. Here we go. This flamboyantly coloured character. Let's have a look at your backside. Orb. Orb, you see. Oh, yeah. We can change colours as well. How nice is that? Change the colours. It's a shame we don't move quicker. Wouldn't that be an, an ability to write home about? Fucking game. It's got a sad noise, isn't it? Bloom, 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 bloom. The sad sound of my life. That's not really true. I got bicycle. How sad is that? Bicycle. Hey there, buddy. I guess we've spent our load in that area already, so let's go up. Up and onwards into the quarry. I'm going to try and get back into flow as well. Maybe just try and diversify the output a bit. This music is cool, if not for the fact that it doesn't loop correctly. Little things like that would bother me. It's a shame, because the music's nice. Hey, what? Is that right? Blech. What about up here? <gasps> He's protecting a... What? What? We're walking on the sky. I guess that's probably not intentional. Hmm. Don't know enough about RPG Maker to suggest why that might be. Because, why not, right? You want to walk on the sky in your dreams, the fast-moving, high-octane sky. Oh, here we go. Yeah, I don't think we're supposed to be doing that. Not that there's anything viable about doing that. No. Three-eyed guy, I want to show you my little blunt-ended object. I think you'll like it. Yeah, come on. Come on, rub, rub harder. Rub harder, you haven't rubbed him out yet. He's only just starting to split. No. Try the orifice. What? What? What the fuck is going on? I guess we combine the effects. All right. Okay. I, I I I see what you're saying here. You're saying piss off. Get your head split, mate. Yeah, fine. All right. What the fuck is this little triangle creature? Okay. Um. Let's call it that. I'm kind of stuck. I reckon we need some effect that we don't have. Please let me know in the comments if I'm incorrect. 
which it might be. I often am. So this has been an episode seven. Oh, look at images. Oh, this is the wallpaper, isn't it? No, I don't want to look at these. Orbit males. No, we don't need to look at that. Um, episode seven. Thanks for watching, everybody.